Hello, I'm Mickey Dimming from Kahuna Accounting, and I want to talk today about how to fix your financial mess. So many entrepreneurs have a broken bookkeeping system. It's causing them a lot of time, costing them money, and really giving no insight into the health of the business. And a lot of people have just accepted that that's just how it's going to be, that, that there's no way to make it better, to fix it. And I'm here to tell you that it can be fixed. And this quick video is going to show you some easy ways that you can immediately fix your bookkeeping mess and actually get value out of your financial systems. So step one, this is the easy part, how to know you have a mess. Most of you probably already know it. Uh, if you don't know, I can share a few ways that it's very, very obvious. First of all, when you think about tax season, if you want to start crying as you think about it, that's probably because you have a mess and it's not that easy. On the flip side of that, uh, your tax preparer might think about you and then start crying because it's such a headache to try to get everything together. If those are the things that happen, if you just cringe when you think about tax, you probably have a bookkeeping mess. If you have a stack of receipts sitting on your desk or a stack of paper of any kind that's just piling up in a shoebox, probably not a good system, probably a symptom of a mess. If you can't generate a profit and loss statement or any financial report on demand, you should be able to do that. And that is completely limiting you if you're unable to see at a snapshot what's going on in the business. And so if you can't, then your bookkeeping is a mess and it needs to get better. Finally, if you have a bunch of systems, but they're not working together. So for example, you're invoicing with something like Clio or you are getting payments through something like Infusionsoft, but those systems aren't integrating to an accounting system. They're all separate, which requires a bunch of entering data and pulling out spreadsheets. That's a mess, and it's very much limiting your productivity and your efficiency as a business owner. So what does that mean? Okay, I have a mess. I have receipts. I have paper on my desk. Tax season is a nightmare, and none of my systems integrate together. So what? What does that matter? Isn't that what everybody deals with? Is that, you know, how, why am I different, or is there any way to fix that? So let's talk about, does that even matter? Like, do I just need to accept that that's how it is and there's nothing I can do about it, or does it really matter? Well, I know you're gonna think, well, you guys are accounting people, so you're gonna, of course, say it matters, but uh, maybe you'll listen to Marcus Limonis, who you may know from the TV show, The Prophet. He has a great quote about why accounting matters. He says, I believe understanding numbers is a roadmap to success. For business owners, not knowing the basics will hurt their ability to make project projections and grow the business without financial know-how. They find themselves out of cash and out of business before they even realize it. So yes, it does matter. It's a big deal. So here's some of the reasons why it matters. First of all, it costs you money. It costs you money at tax time when you have to go back and forth. It costs you money when things fall through the cracks. Can't tell you how many people at Kuna Accounting we've seen who have found invoices that were unpaid that they completely lost track of because they had a terrible system. It costs you time. It's a huge waste of time when you're entering data. And as entrepreneurs, we know there's nothing more important than our time. And so anything that's wasted on things that aren't driving the business forward uh, is a terrible, terrible use of time and, and very much hurts the business. It increases anxiety. So for the lawyers out there, they know uh, just some of the pressure there is in getting these things right and getting the reports together. Uh, but it also just creates anxiety when you don't know, when you don't know where you stand and you can't pull the reports on demand. When you're dealing with tax season, it's very uh, stress-inducing time. And that's a problem. That, me that anxiety is not healthy for a growing business. Fourth, it puts you at risk. And so specifically for the lawyers, uh, we have a piece out on trust accounting and the, the importance of getting that right, it can really put you at risk if you're not tracking things well. You can get audited. Things can really happen that, that aren't healthy. It also puts you at risk of failing. You could, Like Marcus Lamona said, you run out of cash before you even know what hit you. So get a handle on the cash flow. Otherwise, you're putting yourself at risk. And then fifth, your business suffers. So if you're not able to look ahead, if you're not able to pull real-time information, if you're not able to project into the future, it's really hurting you as a business. You can't make informed decisions. You can't hire. You can't understand what your margins are and how to scale. And that really hurts your business to not have real-time financial know-how versus just looking backwards like so many entrepreneurs do. Okay, so we understand. We have a mess. We understand that it's a big deal. So let's talk about how to fix it. So to fix the mess, first of all, the key is to get set up properly. That's really why so many people do have a mess is because they never got set up right from the get-go. And once you're not set up right, it's always going to be a mess. So a proper setup is what we're going to walk through in the next steps. But you need this from day one. 
And if you're already in a mess, you need to go back and clean up to find a place where you can uh, start things off fresh. So the first thing you need uh, with a proper setup is to have the proper tools. So you need an accounting software solution like Xero or QuickBooks that will allow you to categorize all the transactions. Preferably you need something that integrates with whatever system that you are most using throughout the day. Um, you want those things to work together to save you some headache. The third, the, the second thing you need for the proper setup is a chart of accounts. So when you get your system that you like, the first thing you're gonna do is set up a chart of accounts. The set up accounts for revenue, set up accounts for expense, uh, basically so you can categorize every single thing that happens inside the business. And so we have templates of chart of accounts that um, we can provide, uh, but uh, you need to have that set up from the beginning so then you can categorize transactions. Which leads to the next one, which is reconcile regularly. So if you have a chart of accounts set up, you have an accounting system that works, then all your transactions, everywhere that money is flowing, everywhere that cash moves, that needs to be reconciled, which is an accounting term for, it needs to be categorized to the proper uh, proper account in your chart of accounts. And so every time cash moves, you need to reconcile. Most people the pro stumble here because they wait too long or they don't do it regularly. They let things pile up. Our friend Philip Campbell, who is a very uh, well-known CFO and financial guru, uh, he, t he says reconciling is like doing the dishes. If you do them regularly, if you do them every day, uh, they're not a big deal. But if you let them pile up, just like those that pile of dishes, it can be a real big headache. So do this regularly. Uh, and you'll start to fix the mess. So those four things are going to get you into a better bookkeeping situation. You'll be able to pull reports on demand. You'll have an easy uh, tax season. And, and really, to, just to recap, you need to have the right tools, you need to have the right setup, you need to have the right chart of accounts, and you need to reconcile regularly. If you're doing those things and your systems are integrated, you'll have everything you need to make bookkeeping really, really simple. But adding a fifth piece to that, uh, and this is always an option, obviously you need to get help. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a lawyer, you're not a professional accountant, you're not a professional bookkeeper, you can do all those steps, um, but as soon as you can, get help. So that's what we do at Kahuna. Um, I appreciate you joining. If you want help with this, if you want this proper setup, these systems that work and regular reconciliations, uh, we can do all of that. Just check us out at kahunaaccounting.com. Uh, but even if uh, you aren't wanting to work with us for some reason, uh, getting help is still the, the best choice possible. So uh, get into a system that works, fix the broken system, and check us out, kunaaccounting.com. Thanks so much for the time.